cash connected. Okay. Okay, man. Listen, I got an idea about a gravity perpetual motion generator ball. I need some funding. That's right. The way this thing works is you cut a ball in half. You put a big old, uh, big old steel bar in the middle, uh, through the middle, it connects the two balls. It's two half of balls that don't touch each other except for the big old steel, steel bar in the middle of it. It's, it's connected to two generators, one on each end. Okay, you, you, this thing, you put a, a big old block on the side of the ball that you can fill with thousands of pounds of water. The ball ain't going to weigh maybe 1,500 pounds. Okay, first thing you do, you get your little bitty motor on the side of the weight that will turn, turn this ball called perpetual gravity ball, which connects to two generators on each end. And all you do is get you like a, like a hook, just say a hook. And you got maybe two or three hundred hooks that's connected to a spark chain, maybe spark chain. That's just one ideal, but uh, but uh, this thing works pretty sure. I've been thinking about this over a year and something now. And uh, all you do is you put you get your little motor because the, the generators on the in, on each end of the perpetual ball is giant generators. Well, the little motor you got that's connected to the perpetual ball, which used by gravity, is be, would be on the side of the ball all the time. And uh, every time uh, uh, this uh, ball turns, well, it, it releases one of the hooks. These super t uh, tough hooks and the the, uh, the square, the square um, the weight which you fill with water, which is like a uh, just uh, just put it as a water uh, reservoir. And uh, when you fill this water, well, it'll it'll, it'll want to fall to the ground since it's on the side of the ball. If it makes any sense to you. Okay, when you turn this motor on, you got a hydraulic jack underneath it to stop the ball. You, you just all you do is make the hydraulic jack, and it lifts the weight off of the ball. That's to stop it. And you pull you, you put the hydraulic hydraulics back up to make it take off again. But the, but the, the way this thing, I need some funding. If you wanna um, if you wanna upload some uh, funding, this is the address. I'm trying to get a company going to make the perpetual. Gravity energy ball, which you know the energy ball is from the generators on the each end. So if you want to put some funding toward my company, I'd like to make. I'm not. I haven't got a company, but I'd like to make a company out of this perpetual roller gravity ball. So if you want to put the uh, any money on my invention to make me a company to make this, every penny will go toward the research. It's going to take a while to make this. It's going to take millions to make this probably. You know, you trial and error. You know how experiments is. So uh, if you anybody wants to put any money on this, the receipt will get back to you. All you do is put your name and address and the money. And uh, once I get enough money to start a company, everybody that puts money in on it will get a share. And I'm just trying to do this to cut down on oil, oil energy and stuff like that. You know, I'm trying to help the world. So uh, if you want to put some money on my invention, that's good. So uh, I'm signing off now, and I hope to hear from you soon.